Today, I'm gonna to be trying the Pillsbury Limited Edition Toaster Strudels in uh, Mixed Berry. These are peanut butter and mixed berry. Um, they were $1.99 a box at Kroger, and I was just thrilled to find them at Kroger uh, because I had, I've done the review on the strawberry, and um, if you haven't watched that, it's the same thing. It's peanut butter, uh, peanut butter flavored icing, but it has a strawberry filling. Uh, but people were like, oh, hold up. You didn't do all of them because there is a mixed berry out. I couldn't find the mixed berry. Well, and I said in that video too, I said that I wish they had a, uh, a grape. I said, you know, I like grape jelly, peanut butter and grape jelly. So they said mixed berry is pretty much like, it's supposed to be like grape. So, um, so I, I searched and searched and no one around here had it and finally Kroger has it. Yay! Um, and Kroger was getting low. So I bought, I had bought two boxes of the strawberry and believe it or not, I've already eaten every single one of them. And, uh, so I needed some and so I bought two boxes of the, uh, mixed berry. Um, it is, uh, with peanut butter flavored icing. There is no peanut butter or peanut butter flavored icing on the inside. It's just that, it's just this top uh, uh, peanut butter flavored icing packet uh, that has that. On the inside, you get the mixed berry. They are 180 calories each. Uh, there are six, six pastries in the bag and you get six icing packets. Um, as you saw, I always uh, go ahead and cut mine and just put them in the box like this. And I eat one a day until they're all gone. That way, they don't get frostbite or anything if you eat one a day. I try to take a bite from a corner. If you see me look and wonder which piece, which bite I should take, I try to find out uh, where the icing is getting ready to drip off, and I take a bite there. That way it won't drip on the plate. Um, okay, I found one. I know that did not zoom properly. I just wanted you to see how much stuff's in there. Let me take another bite. Mmm. Honestly, I know people said that they thought the mixed berry was going to be the like the grape. But it tastes like... Um, it tastes like raspberry to me. I know I'm eating this whole thing right now. Yeah, that tastes a lot like, that tastes a lot like raspberry to me. Mmm, like a raspberry blueberry even even more of a blueberry flavor um honestly i think it tastes it, it's more blueberry definitely blueberry i like it a lot um uh it makes me wonder if they could sell their blueberry and you have the peanut butter topping on these i don't know if people would go for that because um, th th just because your mind probably wouldn't, you know, once you get used to things being a certain way, then it's bizarre for you to think of them a different way. So, um, it would probably be bizarre for people to think about blueberry with peanut butter, but it's actually really, really good. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I like this. Um, I'll take a picture of it. I've eaten most of it. So it's not going to be as pretty um, <laughs> as it normally is, but uh, but I'm glad that all of you all, so many of you, told me that there was a mixed berry out. Um, 
I mean, I had Ryan contacting me on Twitter. I, I just had all kinds of people telling me there's a mixed berry out, so don't forget about it. Uh, so I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, anytime these uh, new toaster strudels are, are coming out, you know I'm gonna try them if I can get a hold of them. I still have not found the s'mores, by the way. S'mores, I've seen the box. I've seen people have done reviews. That's wonderful. They have not made it to our area yet. So I hope, I hope they do soon. I would love to try it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.